Sometimes you can go to a place and it's just that, a place, but sometimes you can go somewhere and it has a soul, it has a heartbeat. I think the best things about a career at Clemson are the students, the fantastic people I work with. You get to do teaching, research, scholarship, service, and frankly, you get to select your own balance. And the fact that I get to swim every evening in the lake in the summer. I came here about two years ago and just love it. There's something about this place where it's a sense of community, it's a sense of place here. There's something in the air. At Clemson, I really do get to teach how I want to teach. We're not a siloed world. We're, we are really a collaborative world. They give us the freedom to really try out different things and see what works and what doesn't work. Great outdoor activities. There's just unlimited amount of things you can do in an environment like this. It's a very supportive environment as an academic, both on the teaching and the research side. We definitely have the tools, the facilities, and the infrastructure that we need to be able to handle all of our research. The quality of our grad students is outstanding, second to none in the whole country. Clemson is this top 25 institution, and it's sitting here in South Carolina. It's a very excellent institution with respect to research, teaching, service, and outreach. If you're interested in big time sports, it doesn't get any bigger time than it is at Clemson. And Harper, the lone back, play action to him. Parker drops the throw. He's going to fire long over the middle, wide open. Brandon clears, got it at the 20, at the 10, at the 5, and there's Orange in the end zone. Touchdown! When I came to school, there was no question I was going to bounce it on the field and in the classroom because there was no other choice for me. Since the price of living is higher, they're actually receiving the same. What does education mean to your family? Everything. Everything. Education comes first. Uh, we actually, our first scholarship uh, was actually from Stanford. We were recruited by 25 D1 universities. I came in here excited to play football, but at the end of the day, I was more excited when I would get an A in a particular class. I know you mentioned earlier about Machiavelli. Did he do a large majority of his work? I always wanted to go to grad school. I love to learn. I love knowledge. 15 or 15 chapters. I teach classes here for mental health, my own mental health. My name is Jim Barker and I serve as president of Clemson University. It's a way of reminding me of what the center of the institution is. That spark between a student and a faculty member. Something about this place that allows both a large research university environment to exist where uh, students can engage in some very sophisticated, world-changing research. At the same time, we haven't sacrificed the opportunity for students and faculty to know each other, to interact like you would find at a small, private, liberal arts college. There's just something about the sense of place here and the sense of community here that brings out those two qualities, big and small, and finding the best in both of them. I was sitting in my office at SUNY Cortland and I looked out the window and it was a cold upstate New York day. Right here. Blizzard, sleet, you couldn't tell if it was snowing or blowing. I'd had an offer from Clemson, I was debating. And I called down here and I talked to a colleague and I said, look out your window and just tell me what you see. And she said, well, Fran, I see sunshine, I see some students walking around. And I said, Ann, I'm coming to Clemson. And I hung up the phone and I've been here ever since. I'm Fran McGuire, I've been here since 1981, and I'm a professor of Parks, Recreation, and Tourism Management. If your passion is teaching, you can meet that passion here. If your passion is research, you will have opportunities to do that here. If it's service, you will have opportunities to do that here. If you want to do something professional, they allow you to do it. No one has ever said no to a request I've made. Whether it's a course I want to teach, a research line I want to pursue, travel that I need to do for my job, no one has ever literally said no to me in 30 years at Clemson. If you wanted to give a class and not give a single test, there's no one that's going to tell you that's not the way to do it. Or if you wanted it to be all tests all the time, same thing. We're encouraged to do innovative things in the classroom. If you want to try something new, you can.
My name is Juan Gilbert. I'm currently the chair of the Human Centered Computing Division within the School of Computing. I've been at Clemson for just about two years now. The weather is gorgeous. For me as a fisherman, uh, there are tons of opportunities. There's water all around us, literally. We just go out and relax. I was in the airport and sat on a magazine. And on the cover of it, it had a person texting while driving. I said to myself, we know how to fix this. And we came up with this concept we call voicing, by which you don't have a text to look at, and messages that come to you are actually read to you through a phone call. You're going to type a message to me. Mm -hmm. Shelby Darnell, I'm hey, Dr. Gilbert. I need my grade changed for the better. Laughing out loud. And you can reply with your voice as well. I was in voice and email mode, so I received an email and it called me and delivered the message. We submitted a patent on that. The administration does encourage us and gives us the ability to be entrepreneurial. When it comes to infrastructure, specifically technology infrastructure, Clemson is world class. I mean, the nicest EM scopes I've seen, and I came from MIT. Our IT department is top class. Our CIO, Jim Bottom, is world known. We do everything from um, medical information, transactions, and research, all the way up to high performance computing simulations. We're in the top five of high performance computing center systems in the United States among academic institutions. We have a facility here that is second to none anywhere in the world. Our facility offers Clemson students the ability to use $30 million worth of hardware that you just don't find anywhere else. My name is Tom Kerfus, and I'm a professor of automotive engineering here at ICAR. The vision for ICAR is to become the premier automotive engineering institution in the world. We're doing state-of-the-art research in terms of automotive technology, not only design and development, but also testing and manufacturing and we're educating the next generation automotive engineer. Students are coming from all over the world. Not only students, but we have a lot of visiting faculty members from universities you know, all around the world visiting over here because they want to be part of this team. Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Japan, Korea, China, Taiwan, Pakistan, Mexico, Canada, India, they're from all over the place. We have absolutely the top graduate students in the country my name is Melissa Bowler. I'm a PhD student at Clemson University studying automotive engineering. The nice thing about this program is I learn about things in class and then I turn around and directly apply them to the workplace. Basically on a daily basis we are interacting with the plant over at BMW. Our students spend time over at the plant. You know they're working on the lines. The public-private partnership aspect of ICAR is very unique. It's a very different situation than anywhere else in the United States. There's nobody who's here because they have to be here. They're here because they want to be here. And just being in such a supportive environment around people who love doing what you're doing, it's great. Clemson makes it easy to, to talk with and collaborate with people from other departments. We work with folks from automotive engineering, civil engineering, bioengineering, mechanical engineering. I can call someone over in material science or chemical engineering or biological sciences. I've even had conversations with people from the English department. My name is Delphine Dean. I am in the bioengineering department. I've been at Clemson since 2005. I came to Clemson from MIT. Brian had applied to the job in the computer science department and then they saw that we were married and so they asked him if I was interested and so they actually really went out of their way. One of the things that really surprised us when we moved was our house is four pro five times bigger than our apartment in Boston, and we pay less in mortgage payments per month than we did in rent by a lot. I go down to Greenville twice a week for ice skating, and then I do ballet, and I was in the Nutcracker uh, last December. Being up on point again in a tutu was something of a new experience. Oh, go! <laughs> I also teach four creative inquiry classes. 
it's somewhere in between a class and research and you kind of give them a problem and they work on it and it's very much student-led. If we were going jugular, you would come in on this side. The first one I started is on medical training simulators. Right now, when you go to the hospital, you might have somebody who's performing that technique the very first time and you're their guinea pig. When it goes wrong, you can puncture a lung, you can uh, hit the heart. And so having a simulator that helps people practice could really make a really big difference. I love teaching at Clemson because the students really love to learn. They're very good and many of them don't know it. So they don't have kind of this attitude that they're the best thing ever. I've really enjoyed my academic experience at Clemson. I've really enjoyed the classes I've taken and I've actually really enjoyed my professors. The professors have been great. They're inquisitive, they're eager, and they're the top of their class coming in. I've been here for 30 years. In that time, what I've noticed is the quality of the students has improved remarkably. Our middle level students today are probably as good as our best students in 1980. It's amazing to me the creative things that they come up with. My name is Janelle Brooks. This is my sixth year at Clemson and I'm in the psychology department. We look at the physiological components of aging, the engineering issues that are associated with aging, and how we can design cars to be more appropriate for aging drivers. And instead of just talking about aging, I'll really have the students try to experience that firsthand. So they'll wear glaucoma glasses and cataract glasses and try to do tasks of everyday living, like open up a bottle of pills and pick out the green pill. We have them dress up as pregnant women and wear casts and wear different types of restraints. So then that way they really think about having to get into a car and interacting with a vehicle. Our ultimate goal is to keep drivers on the road as long as safely possible. Our grad students are are absolutely fantastic. They always push us in new directions. They're just so excited to try new things that you're just always trying to keep up with them. Clemson has retained its personal nature. They do a good job of, of kind of mentoring you as a, a young faculty member. You get senior faculty members coming and helping you out. My guess is the provost probably knows 75% of the faculty here by name. I can email the provost or call her and set up a meeting anytime and I get in. Uh, my dean is very accessible. Uh, even the president, I email him and he replies. Faculty should come to Clemson because they can find their best selves here. It is such a positive and constructive kind of environment. That's the dream that many faculty members have. Let me just do my work in a beautiful environment, and that's what we offer here. The weather is gorgeous. You have an excellent student body. You have an administration that will support you and help you to be the best you can be and facilitate your promotion and tenure. It's very hard to get a faculty member to leave this place because the quality of life is great. We have an excellent student base in terms of graduate and undergraduate students, uh, and the facilities really are second to none. From, from the day I arrived on campus to this day, I was comfortable and happy to be here. I've been here for 31 years now. Um, I've been to many other places. There's nothing like coming back to Clemson.